Hey everybody, it's Brayden and I am back. I have been posting really sporadically or kind of not at all, but life has been a bit hectic. So welcome if you're new here and welcome back if you're not. Uh, it's been a while either way. Um, but today's video is a PCS vlog and I'm really excited to share with you guys. Some of you guys know that we moved from um, San Antonio, Texas to the Fort Walton Beach, uh, Florida area. So this upload is basically our road trip from Texas to Florida um, and I hope that you guys enjoy. Hi everybody, I have no makeup on. There's Josh, there's Caroline. Um, we're in the middle of our move right now. Um, I was planning on filming like an update video. I just never had the time. It's been like really crazy and busy trying to get ready for the move. And it's already move day, so we've got the movers and the packers and all of that going down right now. So, yeah, we'll keep you guys updated. So, um, I look a hot mess because we've been cleaning. My hair is like so crazy right now. Um, it's actually pretty hot today. I don't know what the temperature is, but it feels pretty warm. So, um, we like power clean the house. The movers are gone. It's like 2.30 here. Um, so the house inspection people are here right now. They're doing the inspection and then we will be on our way to Houston for our first stop on the way to Florida. Um, so the car is like loaded down and Caroline's in her seat and we are ready to go. So as soon as, um, the inspection's done, we will be on the road and I'm worn out. Moving is not fun. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'll check back in with you guys um, as things happen. <laughs> Caroline, say hi. Can you say hi? <laughs> okay guys, we have made it to our first stop of our PCS. Yay. <laughs> Uh, and we're so exhausted. We had planned to stay in Houston, like east side Houston, um, closer to Florida. And we ended up an hour outside of Houston. So we are actually like a bit behind, but we were so tired and um, it's been very crazy to say the least. So we're currently in a Red Lobster, and this is the first time Josh and I have actually eaten a meal today. Um, that's like 7.30 or almost 8 o'clock. Um, so we decided we're just going to stay here for the night um, outside of Houston. So we booked a hotel, and we are so excited to go to sleep and have showers. We look homeless. Like, it's so bad. Josh <clears throat> hasn't even, like, brushed his teeth today. Like, we had... I, I was literally like i got three hours of sleep last night <clears throat> it, it's been rough so we are so happy to be like done with that part of the move and on our way to florida so um we're definitely not where we wanted to be tonight but i think that tomorrow will be a lot better day for travel so we can just add the hour we lost tonight to tomorrow's day because 
Um, it's also kind of like raining and it's <clears throat> dark out here and there's construction. And so I feel like um, if we're well rested, uh, we'll just feel so much better and there will be daylight and hopefully sunshine. So um, I think that that hour will be much better spent driving tomorrow. <clears throat> So we're gonna go check into our hotel for the night and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Everybody. It is Thursday morning. It's about 10 30 um, and we are still in our hotel room in Katy, Texas, right outside of Houston, like west of Houston. Um, so we got up, had breakfast, um, kind of just had like a easygoing morning, got dressed at our own pace um, and we are going to be heading to Baton Rouge, Louisiana today. So it's about four and a half hours from where we are right now. So we're going to get on the road um, like I said, it's 10.30, so we'll probably stop in a few hours for lunch um, somewhere between here and Louisiana or Baton Rouge. Um, and then we are staying there for the night and then on to Florida on Friday. So...
Hey everybody, so it is day two of travel, maybe three? I don't know, I'm losing track at this point. Um, but it's Friday, oh it's day three. It's Friday, we will be in Florida today, um, but we are still in Baton Rouge in Louisiana. Um, there's the Mississippi River, the bridge over it. Um, so it's like 9.30, so we're gonna go do some sightseeing a little bit while we're here. Um, we've been so exhausted that we haven't really done any like sightseeing or anything like that so far on the trip besides like going out to eat. Um, so we're going to go um, do a little touristy type stuff while we're here and then we'll be back on the road for another four and a half hours uh, to Florida and then we'll finally be home. Hi everybody, so we are in um, Biloxi, Mississippi. We are two hours and 40 minutes from Hurlburt. Uh, we just stopped for lunch. It's a late lunch. Uh, it's like two o'clock. Uh, yeah, it's almost two o'clock. So we just stopped and we're gonna just eat an Applebee's um, and then we'll get back on the road. Um, I did videotape some of our like sightseeing, which I'm sure you guys have already seen this after I've edited and all that. Um, and we really had a lot of fun. We only were out and about for like two hours before we had to check out of our hotel. Um, but I think it was plenty of time to still sightsee and see a couple of things. Um, but also not like overdo it since we have still like a full day of travel today. Um... So yeah, we, our ETA 
well, now that we're stopping to eat, it's going to be different. So I, I think we'll probably be pulling into Hurlbur around like 5.30, 5.45-ish. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of the update right now. Uh, I'm really happy that after we eat, we're going to be on our last stretch. Um, it has not been a bad drive, though. It's been a pretty easy drive. So I'm super thankful, and God has definitely... Um, really blessed us with this trip and it's been smooth and easy breezy uh yeah so i guess i'll check in with you guys maybe the next time in florida Woo! carol are you excited yeah are you gonna see dolphins yeah say florida, florida. <laughs> all right guys we finally made it to florida we are on the base right now um at hurlbert Say hi. Hi. Um, I was a little bit ahead of Josh because he had stopped to use the restroom and I had uh, drove on. And so I'm just waiting on him to get here and get us checked in to our temporary living facility um, here on the base until we get our house and our um, household goods and all that good stuff so that we can live in our own home. So we are checking in here tonight and then I don't know what we're gonna do we'll probably go grab something to eat I'm pretty tired um I thought I was gonna have like a ton of energy sorry that video was interrupted because Josh was calling me he is having a little bit of trouble finding the place um and I'm no help because I literally just used the GPS so I'm just sitting here waiting on him wherever he may be so we can check in um yeah, I'm really tired. I thought I was going to have more energy and I was going to be excited um, to kind of like explore a little bit, but it's a little after 6 p.m. and it's already like so dark as you can see. Um, and I'm not like a really fond night driver. I don't like driving at night. I feel like you can't see anything anyways. Um, and uh, that kind of just like stresses me out, especially when I'm not familiar with where I'm at and I'm obviously not familiar here. And I also feel like driving on a military installation adds more stress because, um, I don't know. I don't know why it does, but it just makes it, I, it makes me more stressful, like makes me more stressed out. So we are here. Um, I don't know how much more I'll film tonight because honestly, I feel a little overwhelmed. Um, maybe just because I finally made it here and I don't really know what to do next. Um, but yeah, I'll check in with you guys sometime between now and when I upload this video. <laughs> okay guys, so we just got into our temporary living facility. Here's the front door. Um, so this is our little TLF um, place at Hurlbert until we get our house, which we get our house next week, um, but we don't get our household goods until a week or two after that. Who knows, it really just depends. But anyways, this is like where we'll be living for a few weeks until then. So yeah, not too shabby. And the cocky do hair and the cocky do hair. Hey cocky do hair and cocky do hair. Hey, oh my God, no. I
All right, guys, that was all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you are not already, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed, like and comment down below and let me know. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.